Hey guys, so this is my review of the way back by by I'd say by from Ben Affleck, um, one of the many many um, pre and post Batman films that are of extreme quality and uh, extreme uh, very precise. I mean, we have, I could go all day, but we have Triple Frontier, we have Live by Night, that's great. We have The Way Back. And uh, The Way Back, it's hard because it's about alcohol, alcoholism, and it's the way back from that illness. See what I mean? And I find it beautiful that while well, Ben Affleck well, was suffering the same fate, he decided to do a movie with Gavin O'Connor, who directed him in The Accountant. That was also a great movie. So, um, yeah, about the way back, um, it's a very sad story. It's, uh, it's, but for an alcoholic, it's a very, um, by the numbers story, but it's a film story about a man clinging, clenching for his, re his redemption. And I mean, Starting from the first from the first from the first act, we see Ben Affleck drinking and drinking and drinking to no end every day, everywhere at his work, when he's taking a shower, at night, when he's he's at the bar every night, and it goes on and on and on and on, and he's always drinking and. You don't know why until the very late third act when it's revealed by his ex-wife that their son that their son uh, died from cancer and uh, it's uh, it's very moving to see of course the movie is about he was an ancient ancient a past um, prime player the best player uh, best basketball players on the on the field and he's asked to take on a new era of of a basketball team and that but that's not really of course you see a lot of basketball but that's not really what the movie is about from, from my perspective um i think it goes to show that alcohol is a third leg that we every one of us who consider themselves alcoholics, I do, um, use as a third leg to uh, support support themselves from the problems or from the aches of life and from the disturbance from the from the lack of love, from the lack of faith, from the lack of anything you want to. So, um, first of all, Ben Affleck gives a great, great performance, as with all the, his movies. Um, 
I won't do a review of Live By Night because I think I don't think Ben Affleck wants to hear about this movie anymore. <laughs> he was so pissed about it as I read. I don't know if it's true, but this movie, Live By Night, made no money at all. And it was his passion project, and it was a good passion project, and he deserved better, but it didn't happen for him. And uh, on and off being before Poe present and after he played Batman, and all like Nightmare, and it, it's really ironic that playing such a um, disturbed character like Batman deserves everything in your life and he admitted to be uh, alcoholic to an extreme point uh, during this passage of his life and the way back was his way of redemption was his way of acknowledging like okay so how can i be a greater man with this problem and i can how can i show the world that this thing can be surpassed that this that there's room for redemption. There's room for redemption. That's how it is. And maybe from from this movie, it's from a basketball team for them calling him the greatest basketball player who have blessed the the the, the, the church school and being asked to. Uh, uh, being asked to um, coach the team and of course one day or another um, it, it starts by we found a few beer cans to yeah you're clear you were clearly drunk and we could smell it on you when you're off at the end so and it was beautiful. It was beautiful to see um, of course I the only thing I didn't like was um, his ex wife. I mean I won't say I won't say she's a bitch, but I, I I'll say I mean, put yourself in the shoes of Ben Affleck of Jack Cunningham. It's not Ben Affleck; it's Jack Cunningham. And to see your little boy of nine years old slowly fucking dying from cancer I mean let the f let the motherfucker have a drink I mean fucking seriously his life is over his life is over yes he can wake up yes he can go to work while drinking yes he can go to the bar after he comes back home, he eats and he sleeps. What the fuck do you think he will do? It's like, I don't know why, women or family or church or whatever the fuck, as they have the, the, this fucking pedestal. And it's like, oh, I'll call this and I'll call that. And you're such a drunk and you're at the bar and you're... Hey! Do you know, from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep, do you know what fucking 
pressure, test, pain, hopes and dreams and failure. Do you know all I have to go through? Just every day of the fucking week. And you're mad or misconcerned or you, you you want me to explain to you or to give you an excuse that I drink <laughs> I'll never understand these people because the thing that hit me the most wasn't the death of his child because I have never had a child and I've never had a, ch a sick child. I've been sick. I've gone through many times near death, many times. So, but I would never call myself, I would never um, pretend to know what they feel like, because to have a child, to have this gift, this extension of yourself, this thing that you create, this beautiful, immortal thing that you create with your partner, you are your wife or your whatever, and to see it go to hell. There's no... It's, it stops there. I don't know if you're in a war territory, in a war zone. I don't know if you're in a poor country, rich country. I don't know if you're a son of a bitch or a great human being. It must be the worst thing ever. The worst thing because a child is sacred a child yeah so and the thing that hit me the most personally was at the very end